Hey guys, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to teach you why your damage sucks. Here's another common reason why most hunters' damage is not that good. It's because they can't identify the monster's moves fast enough. So what do I mean by that? So when the mo monster does its startup frames for its attack, the hunter takes too long to ID what attack it is, or in some cases, they just don't even know what attack is coming at. Now, obviously, when you're fighting the monster for the first time, you're still learning the monster, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> That's the point of progression and learning. And which is a big part of this game. Let's illustrate this with one move. So the move I'm talking about is Valkana's tail cleave while he's in the air. So the danger zone is this orange area. And if you can't ID this move fast enough, what most hunters will do is they usually dodge out, which is perfectly fine. You're, you obviously don't want to take damage. But if you can ID this move fast enough, there's actually a safe zone in the middle right here that you can actually just walk. Now you can see the difference here. This hunter here, is already ready to attack the monster and already has a one second advantage over this hunter right here. So this hunter has to walk in and attack. And given that most of the exchanges in Monster Hunter occur on a 1.5 second or 3 second time frame, dodging out like this just to walk back in is extremely expensive from a damage perspective. So you can really see the importance of being able to identify monster attacks extremely fast. Now, this wouldn't be a Michael Wasco video if I didn't give you any practical tips on how to actually do this. So the number one tip I can give to you to help you ID monster moves faster is to drop your palico. That means going to a hunt solo, no other hunters, no palico, just by yourself. The reason this works is because the monster is always going to be aggroed to you. So you can see what the monster's attacks look like from the front. If you're trying to learn monster attacks from the back, it just doesn't register. There's just uh, a lot of the visual cues that the monster does. It was designed to be identified from the front. Then once you learn all those visual cues, then if you like hunting with friends and with a palico, then you can let them back into your hunt. It's actually good to hunt with other hunters in a hunt sometimes because it actually allows you to practice identifying the monster moves from the backside. And that's the key to really mastering a monster is being able to ID moves no matter what view you have on the monster. Because if your camera is effed up for some reason, it doesn't matter. You're still able to defend and capitalize on any situation, like even if you're pushed up against the wall or another monster invaded your area and there's just all kinds of chaos on the screen, you're still able to fight. Now there's one more bonus tip I would give, and that is to pick up a guarding type weapon like Lance, actually probably only Lance. And I've said this many times already, but Lance is the strongest guard in the game. And if you really want to accelerate the learning of a monster's moveset, just go into a hunt with Lance, don't even move and just hold guard the whole time. And you'll, you'll be able to learn all the timings of when the monster's hitbox actually touches your hitbox. So if you're, you know, this is incredibly useful for longsword players because when you know all these timings as a longsword player, you're pretty much invincible. Lance is the only weapon that is very efficient in teaching you that because you're not getting knocked back on your butt to practice an attack. Anyways, hope that video helped and thanks for watching.